What is going on guys, it's RealTouchGML here back with another Game Maker tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect to your Mac OS X with Game Maker. So basically if you want to have a Mac export and you know you want to be able to play your game on the Mac then uh, this is the video to watch because this is going to show you how to connect your Game Maker with your Mac and be able to run it uh, in real time onto your Mac. So let's go ahead and begin right now. The first thing we're gonna need to do is hop on over to my Mac and uh, we're gonna need to get some information before we can actually start this uh, process. So let's go over there now. Alrighty, so now we are at the Mac and the first piece of information that we're gonna need is you're gonna go to your system preferences and you're gonna go to the sharing folder, okay? And here what you wanna do is you want to click file sharing, you wanna make sure that's checked, and remote login okay so once you have this uh, and make sure the, it's allow access for all users so now one thing that you're actually noticing right there uh, we're gonna need your username as well when we hop on over to the window so as you can see uh, that is my username and that is what we're gonna need to use exactly so it is case sensitive so you're gonna want to make sure that you put that in exactly um, along with your host uh, ID which is the number right after that okay so now once you have that one more thing you're gonna want to do is make sure that you are on the same Wi-Fi your Mac and your Windows machine uh, is on the same Wi-Fi network okay so as you can see I'm on the Paul network in my uh, house so I'm gonna need to use that for my windows as well all right alrighty so we are back to my windows machine and uh, I went ahead and set the target for Game Maker Studio to Mac OS X you're gonna want to make sure you you, uh, you do that and you know if we try to hit run right now as you can see we're gonna get an error ensure Mac OS X settings uh, are all set okay note iOS uses the Mac OS settings okay so what what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to file preferences and I'll just do that right now file preferences and you're gonna want to scroll on over to uh, where is it right here Mac and here you can see Mac hostname Mac username and Mac password and this is what we just got moments ago from our Mac so here we're gonna want to put in the host name now that was that number that was blurred out that uh, uh, was right next to your username when you went ahead and clicked remote login and file sharing so I'm gonna put that in now you're not gonna be able to see it but uh, you know it should be good alright so now your Mac username that was the username I was talking about as well next to the number so you gotta put in exactly because it is case sensitive and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put in your password for your Mac your actual Mac so your username for uh, you, like the uh, your, your account username is gonna be the same thing your account password so I'm gonna put in mine whoops and now that that's all set all you have to do is say check Mac connection and as you can see down here, it looks to be like it uh, it connected, and uh, and uh, yeah, oh yeah, that's good. Okay, cool. So uh, so there we go. So now it is officially connected. Connection is okay. So if you got to this point, you should be a okay. What is going on, everybody? So now we are uh, in the real life zone here, and uh, so. Basically, I'm going to show you how it works uh, with the real camera. So let me go and switch this around now. All right, so here you can see we've been developing all day, and uh, we want to go ahead and port it over to this Mac now. So basically, now that we have the Mac set up, I'm going to go ahead and hit run, and I'm just going to show you what it looks like um, when it actually works. So, so here you can go. It, it, it compiles in the uh, in the compiler there on that on the Windows machine, and it automatically uh, comes up on the Mac, which I think is pretty cool actually. So uh, so there you go. So now it's it's working. This is what you should see. 
and uh, and all of that. So go leave a like, go and subscribe, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Let's try for 100 likes this time. Peace.